Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I will show you how to download Udemy courses and PC. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So we all know that Udemy is a prominent provider of massive open online courses presenting its educational content in a structured format with modules and lessons. Now these lessons encompasses various media elements such as videos, textual notes, and assessment tests. Now the Udemy video player incorporates practical features like closed captioning and note-taking functionalities which actually helps you in learning. Now, Udemy also boasts a vast user base of over 35 million learners and Udemy it collaborates with 57,000 expert instructors, delivering a diverse collection of more than 130,000 online courses. Now, tutorials cater to students from 180 countries in over 65 languages. Notably, numerous enterprises, customers utilize Udemy as a platform for employee training and highlighting its widespread impact on global learning and professional development. So you might be wondering, how do we actually download these courses that we have on Udemy? Well, this one is kind of complicated because this actually is cur currently limited to one browser only because you won't be able to see it on other browsers itself. So in this case, what we need to do is we need to have or we need to ensure that we have Microsoft Edge installed in our PC. So if you previously removed Microsoft Edge, then we'll have to basically reinstall that. So go ahead and reinstall Microsoft Edge if you remove it. But in this case, we're already in Microsoft Edge. Now from here, once Microsoft Edge is actually open up, go to udemy.com and you should be able to see their main homepage here. Now, in the Udemy web page here, we need to create our account. So let's go ahead and click on sign up at the top right of your screen. And from here, we need to fill out a few details about yourself. So that includes our full name, email, and a password. Now, in this case, go ahead and fill out those details. Now, once you've filled out all the necessary details, you will now be asked to answer the following questions to further customize your account. So the first question here is answer two quick questions for personal recommendations. So what is your current career goal? So we have enter a new field, advance in my field, or become a manager in my field, or advance as a manager. Now, in this case, we need to state our goal here to further customize our account. Now, in this case, maybe we want to say enter a new field here and just hit on next now next question it's going to ask you what profession are you learning for now they have different professions here like for example software development data and analytics information technology marketing design and finance and accounting so maybe in this case maybe we want to say this for software development and let's say we are a game developer so let's go ahead and click on next now, once you've done that, it's going to say thank you. This information will be used to improve your recommendations and just click on finish. Now, immediately when you uh, see or once you've logged in into your account, you'll be able to see the homepage wherein you'll be able to see since we actually answered the previous questions on Udemy here, it's going to further customize our UI. So since we said we are game developers or we're expecting to be game developers, well, in this case, it's going to suggest you different courses that you could use to basically learn. Now, in this case, what we need to do next is we need to add our courses into our account. So with every Udemy account that we have, we have to pay for the courses, the courses that we want to learn. So they actually range from 4000 so I think, or I believe this is around 80 to $90. And 2000 here is around, I think this is going to be around $50. Yeah, it's around $50 if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, go ahead and buy those courses that you need and we should go back into our account once we bought that. Also, just to give you an idea, they're all, they are also free courses that you, you'll be find or you'll be able to find in Udemy. Now, in this case, we have this free course here. Let's go ahead and click on Enroll Now. And once we've done that, let's go ahead and just proceed. So it's going to say Web Design. Currently, you could go ahead and start your course if you want to. Now, in this case, the next thing that we want to do is we need to next install a extension on the Microsoft Edge browser that we have right now. So at the top right of your screen, go ahead and click on the tree dotted icon there. 
and from here you want to go to extensions. Now here in extensions going to uh, pip, uh, pop, pop up this specific uh, thing here so what we need to do is click on manage extensions. Now from here we need to go to the Microsoft Edge or get extension for Microsoft Edge here. So you have two buttons here go ahead and click on it and from here we need to look for the Udemy extension here. So go to the search all add-ons here and just type in Udemy downloader. So go ahead and click on it and or just type it in here. And from here you want to click on get. And from here it's going to say add Udemy downloader to Microsoft Edge. So go ahead and click on add extension. And from here on we just need for it to complete the download process and the installation into our account. But once it's actually finished, you'll be able to see this extension now in here. So go ahead and right click on it. So make sure that you actually open up this up because we need it actually in our browser here. So let's go ahead and click on tree dot icon here and you can go ahead and click on manage extension and make sure that this is actually turned on. But once it's turned on, you can go ahead and click or go back into Udemy here. Go, go ahead and close the other tabs here and from here click on the extension icon and from here click on the Udemy downloader. Now it should pop up another UI here wherein we'll be able to uh, basically do some stuff for from our Udemy account. So in this case, it's going to say my courses, go ahead and click on my courses here. So it's going to start the analyzation process. And as you can see, we could immediately see our current course that we actually did or we actually signed up for. Now in this case, what we need to do next is we just need to wait for it to finish. So reanalyzing course this. And uh, once you've done, you could go ahead and click on get video list. And it's going to basically get the list of videos that they have right now. So let's just wait for it to pop up. But once it actually finished, you'll be able to see a list of videos that you could basically download or put into your account. So in this case, it's uh, going to take some time in this case because it depends on how long your course is like for example if you if your course has a lot of videos or it just has a lot of content it might take some time so you just need to wait for it so let's just wait for it now once your videos or your video list actually loads up you'll be able to see a list of videos that you could go ahead and download now in this case, you can go ahead and just click on the download button here and it's going to start the download process. Or you could go ahead and click on the checkbox next here and you can go ahead and go ahead and select any of the videos that you want to download. Now in this case, once you've done that, you could go ahead and just click on the download seven videos at the top right. And the download should pro actually pro start itself. Now from here, I do have to give you a few information about the use of this extension. So currently, it might not work for every uh, courses that you have in Udemy. So in this case, if that doesn't work, then unfortunately, uh, there is no other way that we can do it right now. But in this case, sometimes it's going to just load pretty slowly depending on the length of the video. Like for example, if the course itself is around an hour or two, then most probably the retrieving process for it, like the load time that we just did before, is uh, just taking a lot of time. So just wait for it and hopefully it would actually load up the list of videos that we have right now. But yeah, so that's how you download Udemy courses in PC. And that's about it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.